What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Knuckles from Sonic 2. Now in today's lesson, we'll be drawing our character in a three quarter position. So let's start on the top left side with the top edge of the muzzle. We we'll start on the outside. Let's just curve this up and then bring that across towards the right. Now on the left side, we're just gonna round out the muzzle, coming down and then out. Go to the right side, go across and we'll bend that up. Let's round out the side of the muzzle. On the left, come all the way around and bend that in. And then do the same thing on the right. Let's close off the bottom of the head with a curve. Starting back on the left, come down, round out the chin, and we'll just make our way up towards the right side. Now we want to place the nose on the top left side of the muzzle. So starting here, Draw an oval, going all the way around, and then back up. Draw a small oval along the top for a highlight, and then we'll fill in the bottom of the nose. Let's shift the mouth over towards the right side. Starting at the bottom, just gonna curve the mouth going up, and bend that out, round up the side of the mouth, and just tuck that in along the top. Let's add a line on the right side of the mouth, coming down, fill in that area, and then halfway down, we're just gonna draw a short curve coming down and in. Now with the muzzle in place, we're gonna move up and draw on the eyes. Let's start from the center of the muzzle, start with a curve going out and up towards the left. From the bottom of that fold, let's move over towards the left side, curve the eye going out and then up, and then we'll bend that out towards the side. Let's go back to the center, step over towards the right, curve the eye going out and then up, and we'll bend that all the way out towards the side of the eye. Now you want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the top left, let's step in, round up the eye, and then pull that in on top of the muzzle. Let's do the same thing on the right side, so we're going to step in, Round up the eye, come down, and then bend that in. Let's draw a large oval on the right side of the center, start from the very top, come all the way down, back up towards the top. Let's draw a smaller oval on the inside of the pupil. Draw a small circle on the top for a highlight, and then we'll fill in the bottom of the eye. Now you want to pull the left eye along the inside. Start from the top of the brow, come around towards the bottom, and just bend that in. Trace that out along the inside, and then we'll fill in the center. Now let's go back from the side and curl around the brow. Start from the side of the eye, we're just going to go out, around that fold, and just pull that in. Let's go all the way over towards the right side and add a fold, going up, and then out. Let's add that first layer of hair coming down the side of the head. Just on the outside of the right eye, come down, just touching the cheek, and we'll pull that in. Now from the bottom, we're just gonna taper this all the way around towards the top. So it gets wider as we go out, go up, and we'll bend that in. Now we're gonna go back to the left side and draw the top of the head. From the top of the brow, start with a curve going up, and bend that across towards the middle. Now I'm just gonna add a point of hair, coming in with a short line. And we'll continue that curve going up, and then down along the side, and we'll add one more point. Now before we close off the hair, let's draw the fist on the right side. Starting from the top, I'm just gonna curve this in towards the hair, and then down, round up the bottom of the fist, coming down, and then back out. Let's round up the outside of the fist, going up towards the top. Now I add two sockets for the spikes, coming down and up with a half circle. Do the same thing on the outside. Let's close off the top with a curve. Now I'm going to layer the spikes inside those sockets, starting from the left. 
angle this up towards the top, and then come down towards the right. Let's do the same thing on the outside, going up and then pulling that back down. On the bottom left side of the fist, we're going to draw in the thumb. Start from the side of the hair, come down, spin that up. Let's move over and draw the bottom of the palm, coming across and then bending that back up. Now with that in place, let's finish off the hair. Start from the top, curl this out, and then bend that down on top of the fist. Now we want to continue this curve underneath the hand. So we'll start down here, come down, and bend that in, and taper that back up underneath the hand. Now you want to connect the fist to the body with a straight line across the top of the arm. So we'll start underneath the muzzle, draw a straight line going out, on the inside, we'll step down, draw another straight line going out. Now underneath the arm, we're gonna curve the back, going out, in behind the spike, continue along the bottom, just gonna round out the back, go across, and then up towards the left. Now you wanna kick the right leg out towards the left side. So let's start from the inside of the knee, draw a straight line coming down towards the ankle, and then we're gonna overlap the cuff. Stepping down, curve across, and then out. From the outside of the cuff, let's step in, draw a straight line going up towards the knee, and we'll curve the top of the leg going in, and then just bending that down. Now from the top of the leg, we're just gonna bend the body going out towards the left, aiming towards the head. So right here, curve this up, and then bend that out, leaving a gap underneath the head. From that same point, let's draw that patch in the center. Coming down, and then bending that up. Let's go back to the left side, draw the top, going across, and then up. Let's move back down and finish off this foot. From the outside of the cuff, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out. Connect the ends with a curve. From the bottom corner of the cuff, we're going to curve the foot, coming down and then out towards the heel. Now because this leg is kicked forward, we're going to see the bottom edge of the foot. Let's start from the heel, start with the curve going out, and then bend that up. It's going to round up the toe, coming all the way around, and then come in, and pull this back in towards the heel. Let's go back to the top of the foot, curve the foot going up. It's going to go across the bottom corner of the cuff, and then bend that down. Let's add a thick sole on the front edge of the foot. From the outside, we'll step up. It's gonna fall that curve going in, down, and then out towards the heel. And then we'll add that stripe going across the foot. Let's start from the cuff, come around, and then down. Step up to the top of the foot, and draw that same curve. Now I'm gonna push the left foot out towards the back. Let's line up with the side of the body underneath the leg, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the knee, round up the knee, and then pull that back towards the ankle. Let's round out the bottom of the ankle, and we'll follow the same curve coming towards the inside of the knee, then this up and out underneath the body. Now because this leg is pushed back, we're gonna see the top edge of the cuff. From this point, let's step over, Draw an oval, going all the way around, and then back up underneath the leg. From the top and bottom, draw a straight line going towards the back. Close off the side with another curve. Let's go to the top of the cuff, round up the heel, coming down. Now from here, we're just going to come around towards the bottom of the foot, round this out, and we'll pull this back up towards the bottom of the cuff all the way around, and then back up. Let's add that thick sole on the right side and then along the bottom. From the heel, we'll step in, follow that curve, coming all the way down towards the bottom. I'm just gonna blend this out towards the left side. Now from the right side of the cuff, draw that trim going across, step down, and draw that same curve. Let's add that block on top of the foot. On either side, draw two straight lines going up 
fourth a cup, and then we'll close this off. Let's add three small circles on either side. Start with the top corner, and then the bottom, and then one more in between. Let's add the tail on the right side. We're going to start here, curve out, and then up, and then bend the tail coming back down. Now from the end, I'm just going to taper this up towards the top, and then just pull that in towards the back of the body. Now before we draw in the left arm, we're going to draw the hair overlapping on top. Let's start underneath the chin, curve this down, and then in towards the leg. Taper that out and up underneath the head. Now we're going to place the fist on the outside. Let's start up here, start with the thumb, going around and then down. Round up the tip of the thumb and then pull that back up. And then we'll wrap the hand around the thumb. On the inside, we'll step down, curve around, up towards the top, go all the way around towards the bottom, and we'll just tuck this up underneath the thumb. Let's draw the back side of the palm, coming around and then out in behind the hand. I'm also going to add a fold along the top, going up and out. Let's add two spikes on the outside, starting with the top, going down, and back in, and one more along the bottom. Let's layer the cuff in behind the hand. Start from the inside of the thumb, go all the way around, and then back out. And then we'll connect the hand to the body. Let's start with the bottom edge of the arm, starting from the cuff, come in behind the hair, bend this up towards the body. Let's go to the top underneath the head, curve the top of the arm coming out in behind the hair. Let's layer another strand of hair along the side of the head. Start from the brow, come around, and just tuck that in behind the hand. Let's continue this curve underneath the hand, coming in towards the leg, and we'll taper that back up. Now I'm going to add one more point in between these two spikes. Let's start down here, come down and in. Taper that back up in behind the arm. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Knuckles from Sonic 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.